I shot her hair off. Hey guys, it's Grim here. Uh, today I wanted to make a video about No More Room in Hell 2. It's a new zombie game that just came out in early release. Um, I played one match of it. I just kind of wanted to give you guys my take on it. Maybe show some gameplay. And just go, just see where we go from there. Oh my god. Cover on me while I heal. Ah. <gasps> oh, what the fuck, bitch? Fucking bitch. I'm so cooked. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so cooked. Oh my god, I'm cooked. Ugh, just let me out. Ugh, close the door. Oh my god. Somebody help me! Please! No, leave me alone. No! Leave me alone. Fuck you. I ain't fucking around, bitch. He actually turned into a zombie. Let's be a detective, baby. Alright, round two. Detective, this time we're a little smarter. Starting off with a med kit, that's... That's pretty cool. There's a person nearby? Let's see if I can catch up to him. So I heard some people decided to go investigate, see if I can group up, because this game is pretty difficult when you're by yourself, I'm not gonna lie. Um, maybe I'm a bitch, but, you know, these guys really helped me out, so shout out to them. Do I have to break in? Do we just break the glass or some shit? No, you gotta break the door down. Oh, you shoot this, and that would make a lot of noise. How did you break this down? Hello. Yo, what's up, fellers? In this room, we heard other survivors outside the doors, and we decided to say what's up and group together. Now, I just want to say that this is an eight player co op survival. So you can have up to seven friends, which I know is that's those are hard numbers to get, but I'm sure you could find somebody to play this with. Um, it's really fun. I mean, popping heads off, the gore's all right. Um, there's a bit of a delay on like the attacks. Like I don't know if it's desync. Um, I, I fucking love it though. This game's pretty cool. And here we are towards the end of the mission, and bear in mind that this was about 40 minutes uh, mission. Yeah, it's, it's a long. Make sure if you start this game, you got time to spare. You don't want to leave. You don't want to leave your homies out. Um, 
I say like the one of the complaints about this game is how buggy it is. Um, I don't know if you're gonna see it in this video, but when you kill zombies, like after like two seconds, they'll just twitch, which is kind of weird. Like, you definitely tell it's a bug. Um, sometimes your gun will inspect while you're aiming; it'll fuck up your aim. Um, you know, just like little weird bugs that could probably be fixed easily. Um, I think overall for an early access game, this game is probably like a 6 out of 10 with a potential of maybe 8 or 9. Now, this is an extraction shooter, so at the very end you do get to extract. If you don't extract, you die, you lose your shit, you gotta start over. Now you're probably wondering, well, what do, what do you keep if you extract? Well, I'm gonna show you here in a little bit. Basically, instead of loot like Tarkov, you just basically run out with XP. You get to continue to level up your character. And if your character dies, then that's it. You gotta start a new character. Um, I feel like there's a lot of potential with this. And as you can see here with the roadmap, you know, this kind of gets me excited. I mean, this game is an early access. I know we're all tired of early access games. But, you know, for a zombie game, this is pretty good. Uh, if they keep working on it, you know, we're going to have a good time in the future, I'm telling you. Uh, please like, subscribe if you like the video. It really helps out the channel. And I love you. Goodbye.